<sighs> what it is, what it was, and what it will be. This your boy DJ16. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about the Razorbacks and some things SCC. SEC. Goodness. Just frustrated today. And today is just going to be a random rant, man. It's a rant. It ain't going to be that long of a video. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Let's just talk about it. All right, man, I just, I feel like I need to get it out there. It's a rant because one thing led to another thing, which led to another thing, which led to me sitting right here at this moment talking to you, excuse me, y'all, about... A little bit of life frustration bleeding into frustrating with what's going on with some other sports topics. And I'm going to start with what ticked me off the most today. What ticked me off the most today, I get up, I go, I get in the car. And I drive to the gas station because guess what? I need gas to go to work. So, I drive to the pump. It's plastic on the pump. Nobody's there. This was this what should have gave me the sign. Nobody was there filling up gas at the gas pump. Plastic on every last one of them. Come to find out. So, uh, another car pulled up. Anyway, another car pulled up. He tells me that there's not a gas from all down this strip where there's plenty of gas stations at. There's not gas. I live close to a state borderline. There's not gas in the next state across the borderline right there. I'm a little frustrated with myself. But I'm absolutely frustrated with humanity because the dumbest thing in the world always happen, and it's always the horrid effect that happens that does the stupidest. Uh, <clears throat> I find out that there's no gas nowhere around me or in my proximity where I probably won't run out of gas to get to a gas station that can give me some gas because there was a hack or something at a gas at, at an oil rig or whatever this crap is that supplies a gas line so the prices went up they shut this whatever this is down but you know what people around here do? Because of a hack, they go up, go out there and buy up all the gas, hoarding gas, which doesn't mean doesn't make sense to me. It's just like when COVID nineteen hit, these crazy hoard effect people decided that they gonna go out there and buy up all the toilet tissue and jack the toilet tissue price up. And didn't even use it out. Just it's just it's it's mind boggling. And I don't understand it. Why is there a hoard effect with it? I don't understand why people go out there and just do that. It doesn't make sense. And if you're one of them, you need to take a good look at yourself as to what makes you tick. Because this shouldn't make you go out there and buy a bunch of gas. 
and then get a bunch of gas to put up for storage. It doesn't make sense for you to do that. There's enough gasoline out there to go around for everybody. Now, I'm stuck on under a quarter of a tank of gas. One, I should have got it the other day. But you know us, us, well, me, and probably people, and I know I ain't the only one, we wait till it get down to a certain percentage. So I'm frustrated. I come home, I talk to my wife about it. Man. Then I cut on, I put on YouTube, and then this thing with Henry, Henry Toa Toa. I don't know about y'all, but YouTube always recommend, always gives you a recommendation. But for some reason, the late for the last week, I've been getting the same recommendation. Coming talking about Henry Toa Toa. How he's been a big guy, and I and I chose I I wasn't gonna talk about it. It's something I just didn't want to talk about. I understand? Henry Toto was big transfer, a big transfer coming out of Tennessee. He decided that when we first heard about this two months ago, two or three months ago, that Henry Toto was gonna was transferred out of Tennessee. He's waiting on Alabama to make a decision whatever the heck they was going to do because that's where he wanted to go. He didn't want to go nowhere else. Point blank simple. We all knew he was going to Alabama. Why is there a big surprise that he decided that he was going to go to Alabama now? No, it's just that now that Nick Saban said, hey, I got the room. Come on board. There's the only reason why it's the news now. We all knew he was going. To, we all knew he was going to Alabama. You could have already put him on a roster. You could already factor him in to on the team or whatever the heck they were going to do. This coming year is not that big to me. So it kept showing, kept showing up, kept showing up. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna click on it. And guess what? Nick Saban told y'all. He warned y'all. He ain't one crap, okay? He's a good recruiter. He ain't God. All right? And we get somebody in that can recruit just as good as he can, get the players here. That would be the new Alabama, a new dynasty. Nick Saban ain't no different than Pete Curl when he was at USC or Johnson when he was at the U. Okay, they all had dynasties. It's just that they elected to go on to the NFL. <sighs> Nick Saban came out of the NFL with the LSU and then Alabama. So, the difference is that Nick Saban is still here. No disrespect to Nick Saban. I got all the respect in the world. For him, he's a great coach. He's gonna be. He's considered the great, the goat of college football head coaches. Period. Nobody gonna 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 come close to that. I got a lot of respect for him in the world, but this constant, which leads to the next thing about the Nick Saban thing. So. Another thing that popped up on my news feed was when first take Stephen A. Smith them talked about uh, Nick Saban and Texas and m Texas and coach decided that he was gonna you know what bump it just say that he was gonna be, he's gonna beat Nick Saban one day he didn't say this year he said hey we're gonna beat Nick Saban before Nick Saban retires why Nick Saban is at Alabama and I for one I don't like Texas a and but I do agree with that statement I I like that he said that heck it sound Pittman said it I'm back on 100% why are y'all scared to say or challenge Nick Saban 
quits running. I'm just, uh, I, I know on a grand scheme of things, this is not much. But right now, I'm a little frustrated with what happened. Like I told you, one thing leads to the next thing, next thing leads to the next thing. And this is my rant. I don't, I don't get it, okay? Outside of Alabama and Alabama fans, we knew Henry Toto was going to Alabama. Tennessee fans should be upset that it's going that he going to their rivalry. Heck, it's kind of how we felt about Mike Woods, but instead of Mike Woods going to a rival. Thank goodness he went to another conference. He went to Oklahoma. He's getting his chance to go play for a championship. Instead of going to LSU or AM. And for the life of me, Missouri is not our rival. That's just what it's gonna be. <laughs> 